Today, I will give you the reason why the West is fighting Gaddafi. I'll tell you exactly what is really going on in Libya. I will tell you what the mainstream media will not tell you. There are three reasons why Gaddafi has to die. And among those three reasons, none of them have to do with him killing his own people. Number one, Gaddafi is the one who gave the opportunity for an African satellite for communication. It is in 1992 that 45 countries in Africa decided that they want to have their own satellite. This will cover internet, telephone communication, and all the communications. But the problem was how to find the money for this project. Where did they get the money from? They decided to go to the IMF. But the IMF knew that sponsoring this will be more dangerous for Western countries. Why? Because Western countries were making $500 million per year for all telecommunication in Africa, even inside Africa. $500 million per year. Not includes interest. That's how much they were making. So it is in 2007 that Gaddafi will come up with most of the money for this project. Africa will now have his first communication satellite, which will give the opportunity to countries like South Africa, Nigeria, Algeria, Angola. Libya and other countries to now have their own telecommunication satellites. They will now provide communication to their own people. It will only cost African countries $400 million, only a one payment of $400 million to make this happen. Now you imagine how much money does Europe lost because of this? $500 million per year that Gaddafi made them lose by sponsoring the satellite. Just Gaddafi himself comes up with $300 million and other countries came and pitched him. So this is reason number one why they need Gaddafi dead. Two, Gaddafi and African countries decide to create three major banks in Africa. One, the AMF, African Monetary Fund. The African Monetary Fund will headquarter in Cameroon, Yaoundé. This was to be created in 2011, this year. With the African Monetary Fund, African countries will no longer need to go to the IMF, which is the International Monetary Fund. So just imagine yourself how much money Europe will lose if the AMF is created. When Western countries found out that this is what was happening, they actually wanted to be part of it. I believe it is in 2006 in Yahoundé, Cameroon, that African countries decided that no other countries outside of Africa will be part of the AMF. Now you can imagine what's going on here. Not only that they try to cut them money, but on top of that, they don't even want them to be part of this. Because being part of this will mean that they will have to control what is going on. The second bank will be the Central African Bank. The Central African Bank will be 
headquarters in Abuja in Nigeria. What this bank will do, it will stop African countries from using Western currency. Like if you go to Africa today, the countries like Cameroon, Cote d'Ivoire, Gabon, and many other French-speaking countries are using the franc CFA. With this bank, we will have our own currency. Like the Naira in Nigeria. Gaddafi, once again, came up with most of the money for this project. And the third bank that was supposed to be created was going to headquarter in Libya. The Bank of Investment. This bank will control most of investment in Africa. The Central Bank of Investment. Now you imagine yourself what's going on here. Gaddafi is trying to break Western economy by doing this. But that's not his intention. His intention is to free Africa from his trap. African people want to be independent. Western countries don't want that. And that's what's going on here. So the money that Obama confiscated, stole from uh, uh, Gaddafi, is the money that was going to help for all those projects. He's telling you today that Gaddafi is trying to kill his own people with that money. No, Mr. President, you know that that's not true. He probably doesn't even know because he has no experience. He has no experience. He doesn't even know what's going on. He's like a puppy. They tell him what to do. Oh, well, let me inform you, Mr. President, that money was going to sponsor all those projects. That money that you confiscated from Libya. The third reason why Gaddafi has to die has to do with the United States of Africa. This man has been pushing African countries to unite, just like the United States of America. The very first thing that European countries, when they were colonizing African countries, did was to divide African people. When you want to break a powerful home, you have to find a way to turn that family against each other. That's the very first thing Western countries did to keep us from being powerful. The second thing they did was to stop education. Make, make sure that African people are not educated. Education is the key to success. By us being educated, and educating our own people, we are stopping major problem in Africa. And the third thing they did was to place dictators in power in Africa who will give them everything they want. And every time that the population will stand up, these dictators will have the support of European countries to kill those protesters. They were all surprised with what happened in Tunisia, in Egypt. And they took the opportunity to then create a problem in Libya. Not one of you will show me footage of the same uprising that we saw in Egypt, in Tunisia, in Libya. Not one of you will show me that type of footage. This was created by Western countries. When you go to Libya, you get free education. I'm talking about college education, free health care. When you are newlywed and you don't yet have a job, you get free apartments. 
Libya is a beautiful country. And today they are telling us that Gaddafi is killing his own people. But yet he's the same one who is giving them everything. Educa free education, free health care, feeding his own people and killing them again. Does that make sense to you? Let me tell you what the countries that are bombing Libya today have in common. They are broke. Oh yes, they are broke. Just the United States alone is borrowing money from China. Europe is going down with the euro. Every one of those countries in NATO are broke. And Gaddafi is making it worse by giving African people independence. And that's why you see Hillary Clinton going to Africa and telling African people to reject Gaddafi. Don't deal with Gaddafi. In fact, they've requested that the rebels open an embassy in Washington, D.C., making an illegal movement legal. That's what the Obama administration is doing. Hillary Clinton is also asking African people not to deal with China. <laughs> Tell me, let me just ask this. What, what can China do to African countries that Western countries haven't done yet? I like to know myself. How worse can it be? Far as I'm concerned, China is not the one going around bombing other countries. I can't remember the last war China has been in. China is not the one going, killing African people today with drones. China is not the one fighting in Iraq or Afghanistan in the name of democracy. China is making money. Why not deal with China? What have you done to African people that is good? What have you given African people that is good? When you are going somewhere in Africa, in different African countries, and asking African people not to deal with China, what are we receiving in exchange of that? Other than bombs, drones, and everything else. What are we receiving? China is the number one investor in Africa. The African satellite that I'm talking about today was put together by Chinese and Russians. We African people will survive. We have survived your drones and your bombing, your insult and everything else, your humiliations. We've survived that. China is not going to do anything to us that you haven't done yet. So, Mr. President, let me tell you this. If you're not ashamed, I'm ashamed for you. I'm embarrassed for you the first African-American president. And this is what you are doing to your own country, to the world, to the people of your race. You are the nightmare of Martin Luther King. He's always talked about his dream. But his nightmare was to see an African president of the United States of America doing what you are doing today, misrepresenting the black race. We're not asking you to give your attention only on African people or only on black people, but to show a good example of what leading is, of what fairness is, of what democracy is really about. The things that Martin Luther King died for, not just for the liberation of African people, but for a fair treatment of everybody, black and white equal, fighting together, sharing. This is an embarrassment, and this is a shame. And I hope you stay a one-term president.